Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Higurashi Chapter 2. Last episode, uh, I feel like we crossed uh, a point of no return with a certain character. If you missed it, go ahead and peep it. For the rest of you, you know it's your boy Kalagos Gaming, and you know how we do things right here, baby, so let's get into it. Normally, my dad never shows me any consideration, but this time he did. うちの圭一もしばらくの間学校を控えた方がいいんじゃないのか。警察が何とかするまで外出を控えた方が安全だと思うぞ。そうね。もしもってことに比べたら、学校何日かお休みにするくらい。それよりも。こんな物騒な事態になったら学校なんか休校にするのが筋じゃないのかまったく学校の先生方は人の子を何だと思ってるんだ。Mom and Dad were getting pretty riled up, but at this point, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I couldn't care less. Besides, that wasn't the only thing I couldn't care less about. The breakfast table, the food in front of me, the time and date, myself. I really had no interest in anything. This feeling, it was like a dead fog in my mind. It felt like getting dizzy after taking strong medication. I didn't even feel like answering. Today was Thursday. Only four days had passed since the Watanagashi festival. Such a short time, and yet now things were completely different. Everything had changed. The tranquil village, bright and clear as if it were an Indian summer, had undergone a total reversal. People were made to disappear every night, and we couldn't even relax when walking out in broad daylight. This village had become a world of fear. I had no right to curse this outcome. After all, the one responsible for everything was me. That night, I couldn't resist my honestly tiny little incredibly stupid curiosity and broke the taboo. ここは入ってはいけないところなんだろ。やめようぜ。鍵がかかっているのを勝手に開けて押し入るなんて、たとえ物を盗まなくったって犯罪なんだぞ。シオンだってこれが密会現場じゃないと分かったなら十分だろ
あそれからこれおスペース回覧板お母様に渡しておいてくれるかないろいろ大事なお知らせがあるみたいだから I took the notice There were a lot more pages than normal The one on top announced the disappearance of the mayor, Rika-chan and Satoko-chan. And they wanted any information about them. It made my heart ache. The police are looking for me. I'm sure I'll find them. Wait. Rena said, smiling in an attempt to give me courage. Rather than that, though, Her smile looked like it was because she herself wanted to believe they were safe. Rena was. I don't want to blame her. Rena was. I know. I was. 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 悪いことはするもんじゃないよみーちゃんはすごく怒ってたよ、so、she was upset. I suppose she would have been. でもねきっとみーちゃんが怒ってたのは忍び込んだことよりもそれを隠していたことだと思うの、oh. <笑>ケイチ君は自分から言い出して謝らなくちゃいけなかったんじゃないかな。I'm sorry, it's 2020, love. I should have told her myself and apologized. That troubled me. Just one week ago, I did something that I myself should have apologized to me on for. I had hurt her badly. However, I hadn't realized that at all. Plus, with all the confusion that Xion's appearance had brought, I still hadn't been able to talk to me on a bad day. <laughs> 俺はいつもレナに教えられるまで何も気づかなくてケイチ君もしもだよもしもケイチ君が悪いことをしたことをすぐに認めてみーちゃんに謝っていたらリカちゃんとサトコちゃんはいなくならずに済んだのかな Hey man don't put that on me <笑> I couldn't answer right away I couldn't admit to that Wasn't Rena telling me right now though that I should have admitted my crime sooner? If I had done that and apologized, would things not have gone in such a horrible direction? Rena's eyes were filled with kindness, but they weren't naive enough to forgive me for keeping silent, and they stared fixedly into my own. Ah, so that. If I had admitted my crime sooner, then Rika chan and Satoko, they wouldn't have had to disappear or die. The palm of Rena's hand slapped me in the cheek. I stood there unmoving, my head still tilted in the direction I had been hit. It didn't hurt at all. Dare mo, Keiichi kun no koto o shikara na katta to mo. Dakara watashi ga kawari ni Keiichi kun o shikaru ne. I pressed the hand to my cheek, now warm with embarrassment, and quietly stared down at Rena's feet. You're going to be late for school. That's what I know. Ah. The answer is yes, Kei-chi. Yes. And the worst thing is that I can't do that. The worst thing is that I can't For a few moments, Rena stared at me silently and intently, as if gauging my remorse. Then finally, the tension in her face softened, and she smiled. I bent down to pick up the notice, which I had dropped when she slapped the fuck out of me. The pages had come out of the class and were now a mess on the floor. I gathered them up one by one. 
My hand stopped at a single, more light-hearted page with peaceful sentences dancing on it. We still have plenty of homemade soy sauce in stock. Feel free to come to Sonozaki House if you want some. Nanda, kore. I picked up the page and scanned the rest of it. They were stockpiling high-quality soy sauce they got from faraway relatives in the Akita Prefecture. They had gotten a big shipment recently. They couldn't use it all, so they wanted anyone who wanted some of it to feel free to come over, is what it said. As a PS, it said it arrived in barrel, so please bring a 2 liter bottle or other container for it. That's how it tied together. What the fuck kind of a friend are you? Somebody should slap the fuck out of you. Rena had already been suspicious of Mion as soon as she noticed that the big bottle of soy sauce was missing. Rika-chan had taken the ball and gone to Mion's house and... There? She was erased. Rika-chan wasn't coming back, so Satoko called Mion's house since she knew where she had gone and... Then Satoko got called there as well. That meeting on the day the mayor disappeared, didn't Oishi-san say... That the three families participated in it? The three families would include the Sonozaki family. Didn't he also say that the current leader was really old, so their heir, so her heir, Mion, frequently stood in for her at public appearances. While the mayor was returning from the shrine, Mion called out and stopped him. She talked to him and invited him over to their house and... And then... She made him disappear. It was probably even simpler to make Shion disappear. Shion was part of the Sonozaki family. They probably knew exactly what she was doing at all times. I'm sure they even knew her part-time job schedule too. Thinking back, wasn't that Angel Mort store managed by the Sonozaki family? Setting up an ambush for her there wouldn't have been any trouble at all. Don't do that. She's gonna put an end to you. Mion,きっと簡単には許してくれないだろうけど。there was no one else left to sacrifice, dog. With that decided, there was no need for me to be lazing around here. But what if she's going to school? Have you thought about that? I put on my shoes and slipped past Rena to exit the house. When she stopped me. Rena,学校はいいのかよ。学校なんかより。もっと大切な用事だよ。レナは来るな。この上、レナまで巻き込まれたら、俺は頭がどうにかなってしまうかもしれない。Rena didn't move her arm, which was blocking my way. ケイチ君までいなくなったら、私も頭がどうにかなってしまうかもしれない。だから、ケイチ君だけを行かせない。Rena argued boldly as tears welled up in her eyes. You say that like you're not crazy already. I saw them, and I knew the strength of her resolve. Rena nodded slightly but firmly, and finally let down the arm blocking me. Let's go. To Mion's house. I'll apologize for the crimes I've committed. And then we'll put an end to this. To these twisted days. After that, I'll pray that once more we can return to those fun, lively days. How the fuck do you go back to those fun, lively days when you know that your friend, quote unquote friend, has killed her own sister, your best two buds, club members? Get the fuck out of here. That was a point of no return, man. With Rena following me, I left the house. In front of the house, there was a car waiting. It was Oishi-san. Yeah, Don't you have anything better to do, dog? Maebara-san. Soれから Ryugu-san. 
。朝から羨ましいですね。<笑> What a truly praiseworthy man he was. As if he had been lying in wait so early in the morning just to pressure me into talking. On this morning, though, maybe this was actually a good opportunity. Kaysats no kata desu yo ne. Aria, Ryugu san ni wa nanotte masen de s h t a k e Kore wa kore wa shitsurei shimashita. Watashi, Okinomiya shou no oi shi to mo shimasu. Dozo yorashiku. Oi shi san ni. しゃべるのかうん、ケイチ君の罪は私の平手だけであがなえるけど、みーちゃんの罪はこの人たちにあがなってもらわなくちゃいけない。Pain and sadness. I look down as those emotions built up in my heart. おいしさんにお話があります。はてはて、どんなお話でしょうここで立ち話しますそれとも車の中でしますか車の中でします。I only continue to look down weekly.All I could do was to be thankful for how dependable Rena was. At Rena's urging, I revealed everything to Oishi-san. The latter, while making sure to throw in murmurs that he was paying attention every now and then, took notes. We continued that way for a while. どうです話したら、なんだか胸がすっきりしたんじゃないですか Oishi-san asked me this while scratching his head with his ballpoint pen. Of course I don't feel better. The price that had been paid up until now for me not owning up to my crimes had been so immense. But as long as the payment wasn't returned, the load on my chest could never be removed. His radio starts to emit static. Y'all keeping tabs on me on, huh? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ Oishi-san had suspected me on for a very long time. 事情聴取も家宅捜査もとにかく何にも許可が下りないんですよ。園崎本家を守ろうという園崎家の防衛機能がガッキガキに作用しちゃってるらしくて、令状がなくちゃ私たち現行犯以外は何にも手出しできませんからね。<笑> Which is why I have a proposition for you, Oishi-san. We use me as bait. Rena's tone of voice alone was enough to make her spite clear as she stared at Oishi-san. Oh, Oishi-san, you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. Oishi-san lit a cigarette and responded to Rena, wearing an expression implying he was calm and willing to let her comment slide. あなたは令状が取れないけれど、みーちゃんが怪しいとずっと狙いをつけていた。ふんふん。ケイチ君を焚きつけて、その崎家へ向かわせようと企んだ。そして、ケイチ君に何かがあれば、それを口実に踏み
いやはやいやはやあなたうちの試験受ける気ありません刑事課配属の推薦状書いてあげてもいいですよ。卑劣か。Rena spoke quietly, her words dripping with hostility. 私もいろんな悪口を言われたもんですが、若いお嬢さんの短い一言が。でも、結果として、今日までみーちゃんを逮捕しなかったことには。そりゃどうも。Oishi-san seemed to be enjoying his exchange with Rena. The things this man thought were like a swamp, I could barely see past the surface. It reminded me again of how much I disliked him. Sate, Sono Sonozaki Mion san no Shinu de Araserale of Tariwa. Watashinga Shoko Gatame o Ete, Dejo ga Seikyu de Kiru Made, Non Bili Matte de Kreru Wake de Skana. Hm, Sonna no Machimase. 私たちが行って、みーちゃんを自首させます。That's right.This had suicide mission written all over it.If she turned herself in rather than be arrested, she might get a lighter sentence.At this point, perhaps that was the only pity I could find in me to afford her. さてさて、そんなにうまくいくでしょうかね。I mean, I'm a bidding man and. 下手すりゃあなたたちも無事では済まないかもしれませんよ。おいしさんは目標を決める。そして、強い声で言われた。そんなのは覚悟の上です。おいしさんは、私たちの気持ちを知っている。私たちの気持ちを知っている。私たちの気持ちを知っている。He has finally caught up in chapters, folks. He's up to speed. もし私たちに何かあったなら、犯人を取り逃がさないように、ぐるりと取り囲んでくださるのが一番の希望なんですが。ニューグーさんは交渉も上手です。参りましたよ。降参です。Wait, what? I mean, most definitely. But the real question is, will we survive this ordeal or confrontation? Do, do you go to the case of 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 the case その崎家へ遊びに行きます。増援をかけられるよう準備だけよろしくお願います。Their altogether too short conversation implied that our questioning was already a part of their plans. では、参りましょうか。お茶菓子でも買っていきます。What? Neither Rena nor I went along with Oishi-san's stupid joke. Oishi-san stopped the car at the place where we always waited for Mion. Come to think of it, I've never been to Mion's house before. I've only heard that it's right down this road. Okuri dekiru no wa koko made des. Joho dewa, Sonozaki Honke wa jitak shu hen ni kanshi kamera o kanari haichi shite ru rashin des yo. Let's hope they don't erase、uh, footage on the daily. Demo guanshin o. Maybe we can see what happened on the night that Rika Chan and Satoko disappeared. Nan do ga shikaku o tsuite, tots niu dekir i ichi ni wakai no ga nan ni ka taiki shite mas. Shikou sei maik de naka o kagatte mas kara, o futari ga o kina hime o agete kudasareba, sugu ni wakari mas yo. Zettai ni settoku shi mas kara, jishu o mitomete kudasai ne. In both our eyes was determination. It was the only method available to us for lightening the sins of our good friend. くれぐれも注意してください。今さら信じないでしょうが、できることなら、あなたたちに犠牲になってほしくないんですから。You're right, I don't believe that. 本当に今さらだな
With that rude response, we left the car. The clinging humidity and voices of the cicadas greeted us. I had never expected this would be happening today. Iko, Renna took the lead and began to walk. Down the road I had never been. Renna wa, Mion no ie ni wa, itta koto ga aru nda yo na. Um, nando mo aru yo. Totemo ooki na ie de ne. Oni wa nanka, yama ga maru goto hairu kura ai aru nda yo. Matsutake ga toreru toka nan toka de. Itsu mo asaku ga shite aru nda kedo ne. You can fit a mountain there, huh? How big is this village really? Big enough to fit a mountain. That was amazing. One of the three families controlling Hinamizawa and the head family of the Sonozaki clan. Perhaps there was something to be said about its magnitude. Yeah, we would need Kazuma Kiryu to join us with this one, maybe even Goro Majima. The path continued onward, level and uneventful. There were metal fences along its edges and beyond them were woods with trees growing thickly. The fences were high. The tops of them bent inward, sticking out like sharp spears. Plus, there was dangerous looking barbed wire wrapping them. No one could look at them and not feel intimidated. In addition, there were signboards hung up here and there along the fence. Private property of the Sonozaki family, entrance forbidden. Beware of venomous snakes. Active security cameras. Intruders will be charged an entry fee of 1 million yen. いや、山か。丸々庭なのか。庭というか、領地だね。見ての通り、私有地ではあるけど、手入れも何もしてないから、散策ができるような気持ちいい森というわけでもないし。She could say that again. It really did feel like a neglected savage woodland. It was dark and damp. And certainly not a forest that made you want to go for a nice walk. Maybe that's just what happens when a landowner has too much land. Like Oishi-san said, there were security cameras hung up all over the place. Though, they had been weathered by wind and rain, casting doubt as to whether they were even functional. <laughs> What a useless security system. みーちゃんのお父さんがいろいろ大変な人みたいでね。だから一族がみんなで集まるときにはちゃんと機能しているらしいよ。That's right. Mion's father, he was a big shot yakuza, wasn't he? Rena smoothly danced around the answer as she explained. At last, a huge gate, as big as I had imagined, appeared. Was she living by herself with a her grandmother in a house with such a grand gateway? The old buzzer made a dull sound. Was it cut off in the middle and not getting into the house? We waited long enough without a response for me to start thinking like that. However, we finally heard footsteps walking through gravel on the other side of the gate. I nervously balled my hands. My palms were now sweating into fists. There was the clang of a bolt being released and the gate opened slightly. The person peeking out of the gap was none other than Mion. In it? Nah, you? Mion didn't seem all that surprised at visitors arriving in the morning, which wasn't a normal time. In fact, she almost seemed relaxed, as if she knew we were coming beforehand. Mion smiled lightly, in the way that the Mion we knew always did. She gestured for us to follow her. I hesitated for a moment looking at Rena. Iko? Not Iko. Rena smiled cheerfully as if she were passing through the gate of a good friend's house and did just that. I rally myself and go through the gate too. On the other side, 
It hadn't been maintained very well, but it was clear that the lot was magnificently wide. It wasn't quite what you would think when you hear the word mansion, but it was very clearly a vast place. Don't ask stupid questions to me, murderer. Uh, uh, Mion dryly smiled as she said that, and then closed the gate and relocked the heavy bolt. Mm-hmm. Ah, so Maybe it was my imagination, but I thought I saw the hint of a shadow in her smile. Mion bowed to us like a worker at a high-class hotel, and then pivoted on her heel and began to walk. Rena gripped my stiffening arm lightly. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Ma, I don't know if you're aware, but we might not walk out of this place. That's right. When I get nervous, I tend to let everything show on my face. I'll stop tensing up. Even if something were to happen, there were two of us. Oishisan's subordinates were waiting for us outside the gate too. There was nothing to worry about. After thinking about it that much, I realized that my nervousness was already gone and laughed at myself. There was a pile of newspapers on the floor of the entrance and there was a large rock on top of them. I didn't understand why something like that was here. I can't see it. Rena noticed me looking at it questioningly and giggled. Rena was Swallows? Birds? Eh? I couldn't help but laugh at the silly contrivance. My laughter naturally spread to the other two. Sono zaki ke mo o mukashi, yo san to ka yatte ta koto ga aru ra shikute ne. Go senzo sama wa tsubame taiji ni yakki ni natta sou da kedo ne. Sore o mo to, kore wa chotto bachi atari na no ka na. Ma, agatte agatte. The inside of the house wasn't very bright at all. It was dimly lit, in fact, but mysteriously, I could still feel an elegance to the place. Mion seemed to want more of a modern building, but traditional houses like this aren't bad either. Over my dead body, bitch. でも雪下ろしは大変かもね。雪下ろしは大変って、そんなに雪が降るのか、ひなみざわ。井戸は関東より南なくらいだろう。ここいらって暖かい土地なんじゃないのか。<笑> I've only been here for like two months, Ma. What do you mean? Hinamizawa 
止めた車が完全に埋まっちゃって見つからないことだってあるんだから I wasn't aware of that Hinamizawa was that bad of a place in the winter? How is this pertinent? <sighs> Come to think of it, my dad How is this pertinent to anything, dude? He said something like This place got plenty of snow so we could have fun in building igloos Still, your front door getting buried? Not being able to find your car? That's way too much snow. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't laugh at me, or don't laugh with me, or don't laugh at all! Chili no jigyo de narata de shou? Nihon kai gawa wa tairiku kara no kampu ga sono mama nagarete kuru kara ne? Sanmyak de saigi rare te nuku nuku shite ru yona nanjak na taihi yo gawa to wa waki ga chigao n da kara. Ore, nanjak demo nuku nuku demo nan demo ii. Samu ino a iya da! これは今年の冬はケイちゃんを寒さに慣らすための強化合宿が必要だね。嫌だ嫌だ全力で嫌だ。寒いのは嫌いだ。強化合宿も嫌いだ。両方合わさったらもっと嫌いだ。ミオン laughed more uproariously than she ever had, and then told us she would bring out some tea and left her seat for the moment. Hey hey hey, pay attention so she doesn't spike the fucking tea, man. でもね。We'll swap cups. 冬は冬で楽しいことがいっぱいあるんだよ。I don't care, Rena, focus up! 冬の部活もね、きっと楽しいんだよ。Are you out of your mind? 冬の部活か。実に嫌な響きのある部活だぞ。Our club continuing activities through this ordeal is sounds totally fucking horrible. 寒中水泳やら、雪中行軍やら。ここはいつから八甲田山になったんだうん、確かに冬場の罰ゲームは、辛いのが多いね。雪が降ってる工程で、リオのカーニバルをさせられたことある。I see the terror of our club cared not for the season. The victor would be decided by who could best adapt to winter only events. 雪合戦もやるし、かき氷の大食いとか、雪中宝探しとか。だから、なんで外で遊ぶんだよ。雪が降ってんだから、ぬくぬくとお部屋で。テーブルゲームで遊べばいいじゃないかよあ、あ、ケイチくんそんなこと言ってると冬場はいっぱい負けちゃうかもね Nah, I think you will find that we have run out of participants, ma ケイチくん、罰ゲームいっぱいでレナは負けないハウハウじゃねえ I said things with a cross chop to the head <笑>盛り上がってるな The paper sliding door opened and Mia returned with a pot and a complete tea set. And with those words, the smile disappeared from Rena's face. Eh, she did it. That one careless statement reminded us of what we had nearly been able to forget. I had wanted to enjoy this peaceful time for a little longer, but we put an end to that with those honestly careless words. When she noticed the smile disappear from Rena's expression, Mion too changed hers. It was as if the cheerful air that was like a warm spring day until a moment ago had slipped through the cracks in the paper door and altogether disappeared. There was no point in regretting it now. We did not come here today to chat and enjoy ourselves. Mion silently poured the tea, and during that time, both Rena and I sat kneeling without uttering a word. Dozo, Missiagare. No. We couldn't even mutter a word of acknowledgement at those natural words of courtesy. Doku nanka haite nai yo. I don't believe you. So, come on, the sin you know, I can. How about you sip my tea before I do? Sin guy, da ne. Fuck you. Mian gave a bitter smile at that and let her shoulders droop. Oh. Fam, did you put the entire mic in your throat or something? Get the fuck. <sighs> We all remained silent, exhaling ass motherfuckers, the three of us. We remained silent, hoping that someone would speak up first. 
That was, however, the one thing we didn't want to do. And so, we sat for a long time. At last, Mion smiled scornfully and opened her mouth to speak. Oi, oi, Kei-chan mo Rena mo. Kyaku wa sochi nan da yo. Yo ga atte kitan ja nai no. Sochi kara kiri dashite kure na kya. Oji san mo komat chao nda kedo na. Rena and I exchanged glances, and we both resigned ourselves. Rena opened her mouth as if to speak first, so I stopped her. Kei-chiku. In da, ora wa... Shut the fuck up. It's nothing you wouldn't already know about. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Mion was trying to keep from showing any reaction, but I didn't miss her eyelid twitching just a little bit. Mion put a finger to her forehead and acted like she was thinking. そして、流しの下にある発の醤油の帯も瓶ごとなかった。何それ。それが私のとこへ来る理由になるわけ。ミオ、いい加減にしろ。お前が自分で回覧板に書いたんじゃないか。醤油をお裾分けするって。ミオ
Mion grew tired of her dumb laughter, heaved a big sigh and scratched her head. It almost seemed like Mion had lost a detective punishment game for the club or something, and her punishment had been decided. Oh, how fun that would be if it were true. <laughs> as soon as she heard Oishi-san's name, Mion's eyes began to display panic more clearly so that anyone would be able to tell. That's right, motherfucker. Mion, the police are already calling you. This house is going to be able to get rid of Oishi-san. Mion attempted to feign calm, but it looked like she was having a hard time with that. Part of her couldn't believe that the police had her surrounded, and she closely examined Rena's facial expression. However, she couldn't detect a hint of falsehood. Finally, Mion seemed to accept the fact that the police were encircling the house. And your sister. Mion didn't answer our rapid fire questions. I could clearly see the impatience in her eyes, which were still feigning calm. At last, Mion, who had just been sitting there lazily, readjusted her cushion and set herself upright. At that moment, the atmosphere in the room changed completely. Mion's expression also changed. The impatience and wonderment in her expression disappeared, and she became so solemn you would think she was about to conduct a tea ceremony. I could sense it. It was now, in this moment, Mion had ceased to be Mion, but had changed into Mion Sonozaki, the current heir to the Sonozaki house. That solemn atmosphere about her was clearly abnormal, and was entirely different from that of the Mion that I knew. Now I could believe it. Now I could believe that she was the young leader who commanded the entire Sonozaki clan. Mion quietly placed both her hands on the tatami mat and gave a beautifully elegant bow, as if this really were a tea ceremony, and named herself. <laughs> Mion's movements were so elegant they could cut and we couldn't even answer her. All Rena and I could do was watch, baffled at her actions, which we could never imagine the normal her doing. You could say that. Could you come closer and speak into the mic, please? What? What did Mion just say? Mion said she would answer anything we asked. There was a strong light of resolve in her eyes. Shoot. Rena and I exchanged glances. There was a mountain of things we wanted to ask me on. However, we hesitated for a moment on what we should ask first. The first question Rena gave was extremely abstract, but it was the question everyone wanted to know right now. That was what I wanted to ask as well. Why would you do this? That didn't only go for Rika chan and Satoko. It went for the mayor, Takano-san, and Tomitake-san as well, but what about Shion, man? No, even further back, for all the incidents that had been occurring every year. For a little while, Mion couldn't respond. Right when we realized that the question was too vague and tried to put it into more concrete terms, she finally opened her mouth to speak. Stage is yours, ma. She spoke clearly. She spoke with a clarity that a grandmother might use when telling a story from long time ago. Hinamizawa 
Brenna nodded lightly and then shot me a glance asking if I did. I returned her nod. Inamizawa was once called Onigafuchi Village, yes. I heard all about it that night from Takanasan in the ritual storehouse. They firmly believed that demon blood ran through their veins and cut off all the contact with the outside world. Will you ma will you just let her tell the story, man? They were worshipped by those in the villages at the foot of the mountain and treated like transcendents, those capable of magic. So this. The black ships arrived. The era of the samurai ended. The era of national isolation ended. And the traditional worshipping Onigafuchi village quickly disappeared. Those things that linger from the past were all to be detested. That was the kind of era it became. The abolition of feudal domains and the establishment of prefectures. An era had begun seeing Japan sprinting up the stairs that were beyond their means to try and reach the same levels of the rest of the world. All things in the Western style were to be extolled, while all the traditional things were to be scorned. That was the sort of era it was. So you jidai no geki hen no nakade. Takitsubo ni ochiteiku hanabira no yoni. Atto yu mani. Onigafuchi mura wa kiete shimatta no desu. At last, Japan, provoked by the great European powers colonizing countries in Asia one by one, began a policy to increase its wealth and military power so that it could stand as a global power in its own right. Conscription began, and they won war after war, the First Sino-Japanese War and the Russo-Japanese War, until the Pacific War broke out. They recklessly climbed the staircase toward modernization. <laughs> もう鬼が淵村の不可侵性は失われていました。かつて千人と崇められた村人たちは奇異な目で見下され、神聖な鬼が淵村はいつの間にかおよそ真実とは掛け離れた根も葉もないレッテルを貼られ、苦難の時代
自業自得と言えないこともないのかもしれません私たちのご先祖様は自分たちに鬼の血が流れていることを誇りに思い自慢し麓の人々を下げすんで暮らしてきたのですからねその神秘性で麓の村人たちを怖がらせ威夫と貢ぎ物の献上を要求してきたのですから With that, Mion smiled for the first time, albeit in self mockery. 太平洋戦争中は国民一丸のスローガンが流れながらも雛見沢村の人々だけは例外でした数え出したらキリがないくらい夫や息子を戦場に送り出し十五の女たちも心がすさんでいたのでしょうね当時をよく覚えている祖母はそれは苦しい時代だったと回想しています Even that bitterly long war, however, finally ended in 1945. 多数の男手を失った雛見沢にもようやく父や夫息子たちが戻ってまいりましたもちろん帰らぬ者も,も多かったそれでも男手がなく村を維持することにすら限界をきたしていた雛見沢にとってそれはとても喜ばしいことでした MacArthur's GHQ set to work on drastically improving mindsets and strove for the abolition of unfair discrimination. They could feel day breaking on the dismal night that was the previous era. I saw soon then that the Hinamizawa o mo it do tatena o so. So you kyun ga takamari. Murabito tatiwa, Mura o skoshi demo yutaka ni suru tame ni hataraki hajime mashita. During that time, someone appeared who built up a fortune through a vast number of dealings in the black market. That was Mion's grandfather, the husband of the elderly current family leader Sohei Sonozaki. Sohei was a member of the Chinese family 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 of the c h i n 闇市で高値で売りさばいて大きな富を得たのです。ソヘイ didn't spend that fortune for his own pleasure either. He entrusted the entire amount to his wife, the head of the Sonozaki house. 廃れた雛見沢を復興させよう。村人すべては家族である。この富は共有の財産である。現当主である祖母はそう宣言しました。この大きな富は。その後の雛見沢の復興の大きな力となったのです。I see.With that, 雛見沢 came back to life, and that's how the Sonozaki family had established its current prosperity. もちろん、闇市で財を成したことを妬む人たちも大勢いましたが、もう村人は気にしなかった。They succeeded at one business venture after another.Those who had succeeded freely supported those who followed them. The giant family of Hinamizawa, tied together with strong bonds, kept expanding its influence. The Sonozaki family, the center of everything, would be extolled for a long time as the minds behind Hinamizawa's revitalization. Sono Katsuyakuno Chushin Jinbutsuga, Mija no Baja Nandane, Sugoyo ne, Dai Katsuyak. Mion looked like she was honestly happy Rena had praised her. ですが、昭和30年頃にまたしても逆風が吹き始めますそれが缶詰疑惑でしたソフそのざき総兵の上官だったと名乗る男が告白したのです彼の調達した缶詰は実は食材を用いたものではなかったのだと Hinamizawa, a village in which demons lived and ate humans. They were just about to wipe away that cursed stigma. The light they had finally started to see in their peaceful lives grew hazy and disappeared. The shocking truth, as revealed by his former superior, the stolen provisions from o l d Japanese army that had been a huge cornerstone for Hinamizawa's revival, had been canned human flesh. Why were there cans like that? Wasn't Sohei just the manager of food warehouses? His superior revealed that Sohei Sonazaki did not have the job of managing the food. 
In reality, Sohei's job during the war had been to exterminate pestilent mice and to transport the corpses of those with infectious diseases. It had been unfair treatment, and all because of the lowliness of his origins. As a result, though, he returned safely without having been sent to the front lines or being detained. Perhaps that was the only fortunate thing to happen to him. Finally, Sohei was enlisted as an assistant at a military medical institution. There, however, he found something even worse than the low, scorned, depressing customs of Odigafuchi village in the research they were carrying out. Could that have been, well, you know, the bacteriological corpse in the old Japanese army or whatever? Hey, Chikun, you've heard of that. What could it be? I was pretty sure it was Unit 731. It was a nightmare unit that devoted itself to researching a terrifying bacteriological weapons to break the deadlock in the war. They used many innocent people as fodder for horrible human experiments. They methodically observed how many days a certain strain would take to kill the victims. How many days it would be when injected. How many days it would be when swallowed. They dissected many people to find that out. Sometimes, they wouldn't bother waiting until they were dead, and dissected them while they were still alive. They would strap them into centrifuges while still alive, and crush them in decompression chambers while still alive. When a live human decompresses, all the holes in their body get pushed outwards, and their intestines get pushed out of their anus like a snake winding out of it. Thanks for the images, game. I have a feeling... I saw something like that on a documentary one time. What kind of fucking documentaries? That makes me fucking sick. And they still hate Hinamizawa, huh? You said it. Mion agreed with me, giving a faint, sad smile. It wasn't much in the way of communication, but for some reason I was happy to have it right now. Welcome back. The military's designs at the start of the war completely fell apart, and a chronic food shortage broke out all over the battlefront. The food shortage led to malnutrition, and as their natural resistance lowered, the soldiers fell to one disease after another. Spirit and morale lowered as well, they wouldn't be able to maintain their forces at this rate. Apparently, that's where the research started. At first, it was to find methods of delivering food to battlefields. It was very broad and included things from violent methods like stealing it from citizens to survival methods like how to cook unfamiliar insects and plant life. As they were working out the details, they kept straying off course and going out of control, until finally, they knocked down a door called Taboo. Your newly fallen comrade? Rena and I knew the answer without being told. So we didn't answer. So, they were using things that they could use to survive. ごっけんな話ですね。祖父を過去のことで下げ済んでおきながら、自分たちはさらにその上を行っていたのですから、祖父はいつも思っていたそうです。たとえ世間の噂がどうあれ、彼らはそれよりもはるかに醜い鬼
but she sighed slightly and stopped there. じゃ、その、ミオンの爺さんが持ち帰ったという缶詰は世間の風評を否定し続けました。ですが、ひなみざわの急激な復興を妬む人々は、その疑惑を真実のように面白おかしく書き立て、また子供たちが生やし立てられ
鬼の一時を加える習慣があるのです。私の名前を手のひらにでも書いていただければ、一目瞭然かと。I trace out the word me on the palm of my hand. Oh, she's fucking right. The character for demon is in there. 名前だけではありませんよ。この体にも鬼が刻まれているのです。Let me see your tattoo. When she said that, she quietly rose and began to lay her hand on her clothing. With just that exchange, I guessed what she meant. Most likely, somewhere on her body, there was a permanent seal, such as a tattoo or a marking, that proved that she inherited the demon. Mion didn't sit back down. She smoothly opened the paper door onto the porch. A refreshing breeze began to cleanse the damp air filling the room. Mion quietly gazed out at the wide yard for quite a while. On her shoulders was something I could never imagine the normal Mion carrying. It was the heavy, heavy, truly heavy history of Hinamizawa. No, of Onigafuchi weighing down on them. What kind of words could I possibly say to a Mion like that? Rena wasn't saying anything to her either. Only the voices of the cicadas drowned out the silence. At last, after a long period of nothing, Mion murmured. その全ての中心に私がいたと思う。She said it all without turning around with her back to us. At some point, her tone of voice had gone back to being the Mion we knew. 私は自分のしたことには信念を持ってるし、あるとすれば、私の後継ぎも決まらないうちに、舞台を退かねばならないこと、くらいが私を捕まえて、それで法治国家の体裁が整うなら、それも時代の流れかなってこの100年で一番平和な雛見沢を見ながら引退できるのはひょっとすると歴代の園崎家の当主で一番の幸せなのかもしれないし Mion leaned his shoulder against the paper door and then slid down it and flopped on the ground It was an act of such resignation that just seeing it made me hurt inside The numerous terrible crimes Mion had been a part of suddenly began to fade from my mind. Hey Mion, I don't care what happens after this. Can't you just try to struggle as much as you can? Try to run away? As soon as I began to think that way, Rena's ringing voice filled the room. Exactly. The sharp points of her words stabbed into my chest despite not being directed at me. Rena's words were more biting than any I had ever heard. Even now that we all knew the heavy history pressing down on Mion's shoulders, she had criticized her for killing our friends. 私が園崎家の役目を負うように、リカちゃんだって古出家の役目を負っていた。その役目が、西宮殿を守ることだった。去年あたりから、リカちゃんが言ってたのは知ってたんだよ。西宮殿の勘抜きが重くて辛い。もっと簡単な鍵に付け替えたいって。先代の勘主さんでも、思いと嘆いてた代物だからね。リカちゃんに辛いのは重々承知だった僕がちゃんと番をしますですからもっと軽い鍵に変えてほしいなのです I replied on behalf of the Sonozaki family leader Ever since the string of freak death incidents there seem to be people who are insolent towards Oyashiro-sama so you shouldn't replace the lock with a simpler one That said The leader of Kimiyoshi family, old man Kimiyoshi, he uh... If it's that difficult for you, Rika-chan, then I think it's okay to replace the lock, he said. The very fact that it was locked with a key was an indication of it being somewhere you mustn't enter. 
There's nobody bad enough to break through it and go inside, he said. Even if we were alike as leaders, I couldn't find it in me to argue with old man Kimiyoshi since I owed him so much. In the end, we decided to change out the lock on the storehouse and switch to a really cheap and light padlock. おじいちゃん、できることなら鍵は前のままの方が良かったと言ってます。大丈夫だよ。心配性だな。何かあったらおじいちゃんがちゃんと責任を取られるという意味ですね。おじいちゃんもこの中に収められているものがどれだけ神
造作もなかったろうに。でも、殺さなかったんだよね。Yet. That's right. ミアン was so cunning that nobody could stand up to her, even in our club. If she had seriously tried to kill me, I would have been dealt with on the very first night. So many people had been sacrificed, but I was always left out in the cold. When did I first realize it? Even though people were disappearing one after the other, for some reason, I had this vague belief that only I would be left alive. So, what did you say? I didn't know how to do it. 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 I didn't know うん、逃げ場はないぐるっと囲んでるって言ってた無線でたくさんの車が来てるみたいだったよみーちゃんちの広い敷地を全部囲んでると思うミオン felt silent レナ s merciless words felt cruel but they weren't meant to be maybe they were trying to lessen her good friend's pain if only by a little Maybe they were considerate, like she was trying to help. Mion didn't open her mouth, but she smiled just a little. She rose, scratching her head. Her face had returned entirely to that of the usual Mion. So, what's the next step? I couldn't say anything. The number of deaths Mion was involved in was just too large. So much so that maybe recommending that she turn herself in was, in a way, extremely cruel. I'm sorry, what? My name suddenly came up, and it looked like I was the only one surprised about that. ケイチ君、どうかな。なあ。ケイチ君が嫌なら、無理にとは言えない。そうだね。嫌なら、それでもいいよ。Give me the choice then。私は、鬼だもの。ケイちゃんはよそから引っ越してきた、正真正銘の人間。愛入れることなんて、親代様が実在して、仲介してくれない限り、絶対にない。There was no reason for me to hesitate. Mion had been engulfed by heavy, unopposable tradition. Right now, the duty of handling this had fallen to me, and to me alone. In fact, with me cornered, it would have been okay for her to blame me. However, Mion didn't say one word of blame. Far from it, I was guilty of the same crime, and she let me go. Amidst the fate she could not oppose, she saved me alone. I didn't know whether I should be thankful for that or not. Thinking upon it now, I didn't know how much easier it would be if I were to be granted the same punishment as Rika chan and the others. The only thing I knew for sure was that I had an equal duty to bear the sins that Mion shouldered. So when it came to Mion's last request, there was no reason for me to hesitate. Ah,、uh, easy. ありがとう私からもありがとうを言うよケイチ君レナ stood up It looked like she would keep her promise with me on and leave あいいよレナここで待っててくれればケイちゃんとは庭をぐるりと回りたいだけだから退屈だったら私の部屋へ行けばいい漫画とか好きに読んでていいよあなんだったらお気に入りの単行本丸ごと持ってってもいい嫌だよみーちゃんの本はみーちゃんのものだもの勝手にレナの家に持って帰れない 
which is very odd considering how often she utters the words that she wants to bring people and things home to her, you know? <laughs> Mion took Rena's hands and rubbed it violently like I always did. I began to walk after Mion, who headed for the hallway, when Rena silently stopped me. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Oh. And you don't? I didn't know much about laws, but with as many deaths as she had been involved in, the chances of her escaping a heavy punishment seemed non-existent. Oh well, shit. Mion might not surrender herself to justice, so I might have to put an end to it myself. Rena had already thought that far ahead. <laughs> Rena rubbed at her tears, which had fallen without me noticing them. I nodded and followed Mion, who had disappeared out the front door. I could clearly hear Rena sobbing from the other side of the paper door. Something had burned down my cheeks. They were my tears. I fiercely wiped them away. This was the last of my time I could offer to Mion, so I absolutely did not want to let her see my tears during it. Mion was already waiting for me outside the front door. I put on my shoes, tapped my toes against the floor a few times, and then left. And Mion timidly came over after that. Why is she turning all red at a time like this? It was such a modest request. With my permission, her face lit up with glee, like a child being given a toy and took my arm. Nah. Back when nothing had gone wrong yet, during those nostalgic days of bustling commotion at Angel Mort, I counted back and was amazed, man. It had only been a week ago. I had been arm in arm with Xion then too. Linking arms with Mion like this really reminded me that they were twins. How much strength did they put into it, the sensation of their arms, their warmth and the blood flowing. What? I could feel that their living sensations were all exactly the same. I think you might be accurate in that statement. <laughs> if this were a regular conversation, I might have jumped back red in the face. Right now, though, no matter what I heard, my mind remained at peace. Mion and Sion were good at the same time, right? Well, how was it? Kei-chan, do you think the right hand and the right hand are good? Eh? The right hand and the right hand? That's not good or bad. I don't know how to describe it. So you can see that. The right hand is good or bad. That didn't sound like it meant they got along very well. たとえば気球でというものがあるように右手と左手には間違いなく優劣の違いがある。もしも鍋つかみが片方しかなかったら迷うことなく気球でにするでしょ。そういう差はあったんじゃないかと思う。だからといって。左手がなくなったっていいなんて思う人は誰もいないはず。そんなよくわからない関係だね。多分それは近くにいすぎるから見えなくなっているだけで、きっととても仲のいいことなんだと思う。俺は一人っ子だから、祭りの前日、ミオ
、二人してじゃれ合っているのを、すごく羨ましいと思った。ないものねだりじゃないの双子なんて、昔は人をからかったりして、そこそこに面白かったけど、こうして、互いがはっきりと異なる個性を持った今では、かえって邪魔なだけ。Were they cursed or were they just self conscious? Their relationship was hard to understand for an outsider. Maybe that wasn't an issue someone like me should intrude on. Just staying silent and nodding gently was the best way to advance the conversation. Mion passed through the wide yard and invited me into the big desolate forest we had seen on the way in. Such a big forest was a part of the property, so I couldn't help but feel small. Are you gonna show me where all the bodies are located? The guy Mori Dana, Kodomo no Koroa, E. Asobiba that Tanja Nainoka. Mion seemed to be silently reminiscing. I couldn't look into her mind, but she was probably thinking back to those fun days when they played as sisters without any antagonism. Every time the wind blew, it caressed the treetops and the leaves, making a swishing and murmuring sound. Mion remained silent for a long time, thinking back on her younger sister, whom she had gotten rid of with her own hands. There was no need for me to get a word in. Just walking like this, arm in arm, was enough. Mion suddenly stopped and turned. Shion is still alive. You're Shion, aren't you? Really? Mion took a hard look into my eyes and then nodded quietly. 誰よりも無言たらしい死に方をさせてやろうと、ずっと考えて閉じ込めておいたけど。Where? 今日まで、その方法はとうとう思いつかなかった。ミオン sounded as though she hated シオン、but also deep down, she didn't completely detest her. So I took my other hand and rustled ミオン's hair with it. Really? ミオン didn't know to save me. She saved シオン too. Mia may have become a demon and led many people to their deaths, but she fought against it and was able to save two people. As I petted Mia, she narrowed her eyes in an entranced smile and untangled her arm from mine. Then Mia quietly said, Come, I want to see all of my crimes. Ah, shit! But it's for Kei-chan. この上なく辛い光景かもしれない。I could sense it. There I would probably find all the sacrifices up until now. Looking at them would mean accepting Rika chan and Satoko's deaths, as well as accepting that my best friend had done it. すでに起こり、終わってしまった事実だけれども、ケイちゃんは見ないことを選んでもいい。そうならば、ここで待っていて、私の手で、すべてを終わらせるから。I was taken aback by how ominous that sounded. I remembered what Rena had told me. Mion might not surrender herself to justice, but instead choose to put an end to things herself. I couldn't leave her on her own. Besides, I agreed to her last request, did I not? Even if it was hard for me to accept, I'll still do it. Even if I avoided looking, it was something that had already happened. <laughs> うん、俺にとってのその先ミオンは最高の親友だそれは変わらない一生あんたもレナもどうしてこんな時ばかりかっこよくなるんだろうね Normally, I would say something rude right back at her evading the question but today I didn't I just answered with a smile At last, Mion started walking into the thick forest into the deepest part. After following a thin path that looked like an animal trail for a while, we finally came across a steep incline with a tunnel that reminded me of a coal mine or a bomb shelter. We were surrounded by shallow hills, it had been created in a spot not visible from the outside. There were many silhouettes of crows and trees here and there. The abnormal odor I had been smelling for a while was doubtlessly escaping from inside this place.
その先ミオンは俺の最高の親友だ I clench my fists. Inside there was probably a sight beyond anything I could imagine. If I let my guard down, I might end up vomiting. Even so, I'll endure it. I'll overcome this pain and suffering. It will never change that Mion is my greatest friend. もう人間の気持ちはわからないけれどミオンがあんたを好きになったのよくわかる気がする他人事のように言うなお前はミオンだ鬼じゃない血の通った人間で俺の仲間なんだミオンはジェスチャーで血を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭いた手を拭い